Welcome to the number one Fingers podcast. Oh, I'm your host, Daddy yeah. McDook. I'm joined as always by Dr. Hoji the Dr. Kismoji. That's right. And Bring in the truth. Bring in the electricity for the John, past. How long have we been on the air? 10 years or so. Uh, John, what? Let us see. We've been on, I remember when we were on. John Henry Enka, Sheeran. John who? Yeah. Don't know who that is. Courtney. Let's see. I... Did you take your brain pills before the show, daddy -o? You can see the steam coming go through yeah. his ears a little bit. How are you, John? You know, I'm good, man. Are you hopeful about the Bengal season with the news coming out this 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 week? The off season is just chugging along. There's just a lot of useless noise at the moment. People trying to to create a lot of content off of things that don't really mean anything. It's you, you ever get the feeling that like people are just like. They're just really impatient. They just want everything to happen at once. And they're trying to turn every piece of little news into something meaningful. And they just don't let things come to them anymore. Yeah. It's just a, it's a lot of instant gratification. I don't know if, are we, are we, are we part of the problem, man, as, as content creators? No, actually, as journalists, we are part of the solution, John. And I will say, I mean, the, the one positive about all this is the Bengals are important enough now for there to be so many rumors. I mean, everybody cares. And I'm bored, and I think a lot of people are bored. And Everyone's so we bored. Yeah, and so we rely on, on, on Twitter and we rely on rumors to make our lives meaningful, you know? I suppose, it's just like, we hear the same sound bites every single year and we turn it into the same pieces of content every single year, and it's like we don't learn anything from it, you know what I mean? So no. Are you saying that, are you thinking what I'm thinking, John, that we should really make this a show about having a vegan diet and do something meaningful with our lives? Because we can do it right now. Daddy was not here. We could totally change the, the topic of the show and go vegan right now. Right this is here. more or less what I was talking about. I'm saying stuff and you're twisting it into something that I'm not saying. You know what I mean? Right. And it's, it's true. You're trying to create something out of that. Yeah, that's true. You, do you want to bring Kayla on? I mean, if we're not going to have Daddy, we might as well have Kayla. I want to introduce Kayla. I don't know oh, if you got I, shy, but... Oh, hold on. Oh, I, I, this is where we talk about Brinks. Oh, my gosh. There's so much pressure. I got to do all the stuff that daddy does, the, the promotion <laughs> stuff. So hold on, hold on. So wait a minute. What was the Wino app that he always talks about? How do I, I promote the, this? Yeah, what so the Wino, Wino app... app it, it's for our loyal listeners and anyone who likes our content to ask us personal questions, and we can respond to them in a very personal manner. And you or can they can sign text up. us. Yeah, but more or less, yeah. So if you if they have a question about starting a vegan diet, they can ask Hoji the Electric Smoji. If yeah. they have questions about bargain, bargain bin shopping, they can ask Daddio. If they have any questions related to anything football, they can ask me. You know, it's a very right. equal relationship. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would say mine is a matter of life and death and your soul. But yeah. And anyway, so yeah, the Wino app, you can text us on the Wino app and you can watch this show. If you are watching it from YouTube, know that you can watch it live from Brinks and it, Brinks will, it streams us. I think we are one of like three shows on that channel. It's amazing. Brinks has really, they love us. Well, we, you know, we, we've almost crazy. monopolized the content, you know, yeah. like we, yeah. we put it out more consistently than any other program on there. And I, I think we have arguably the best content that you can find on Brinks.tv. Well, I would say so, yeah. Which is why they and, ask and us to promote it. Speaking of monopolies, I think Daddy was back. Daddy, do you want to hop in and, and or, or should we bring Kayla on maybe and, and ignore Daddy this time? Maybe we should go straight to my hojoscope because I got a lot to say. Daddy, are you back or do, should, we, should we go to bring Kayla on? Let's bring Kayla on. I want to meet Kayla and talk to her about the Bengals. Yeah, I can't hear that. You. Let's bring Kayla on. I want to. I want to meet you. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Kayla. Great. So, so tell us, you have your own show. Yes, me and um, a couple other girls on Bengals Twitter, um, Jess and Whitney and Jerry, have a show called Tigress Talk. Um, we're taking a little break right now, but we'll be back uh, before the draft. Okay, I think. I think I. Correct my audiovisual problems. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Kayla, thank you for coming on the show. I love Where your show. You? 
I am mm -hmm. in the room, but I'm not in the Zoom. There we go. I'm here. Yes. Okay. And uh, Kayla, I love your show. I love it. And I've, I've watched every episode. And I love how you jump from topic to topic. <laughs> and you're not... No, I mean, I love it. And it's, it's basically you, you're not afraid to digress and to go from one thing to the other. You just say, excuse me while I, you know, I digress, but you know, it is this. Now, you know, now Daniel, somehow. have you actually seen Kayla's show? It is called Tigress Talk. No, 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 no. I know what it is called. I know what it is called. But I am guessing this is just a random wild guess that you have never seen Kayla's show. I have, I have seen shows. I am about, guessing, about and this is just a random wild guess that right. you are basing your right. opinion of Kayla's show yes. on your illiterate understanding of what the word tigress, which you are reading as tigress means right. and it. you have heard the word in conversation digress and you yes. are thinking right that right. tigress but, is how it's spelled look, and it's not okay, tigress look. is a female tiger okay. no hold on okay. you hold got that. to watch people's shows before you bring him on the show yes, she has I'm, watched our show okay okay i'm sorry i i, I digress but let, i want to move on to <laughs> kayla first of all how did you become because let's let's be clear this is the only bengal show hosted by uh, women being Bengals fans. So how did you become a woman? How did you become a Bengals fan? Tell us the whole story. So she, she was born a woman. Okay. Yeah, I have been a woman my entire life. Um, I became a Bengals fan basically at birth as well as, uh, yeah, my dad is a Bengals fan. And so he taught me in the ways of who day. So um, and where, where are you from in the Cincinnati? Cincinnati. Area, I'm, where, where I'm in Northern from? Kentucky. So right across the river. I know, I know Northern Kentucky very well. We used to do gigs there, Daddy and I. So where from, right. where in Northern Kentucky? You talking Newport, I'm in Erlanger. Erlanger. Yeah. Erlanger, y'all. Erlanger. Yeah. Erlanger. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Erlanger. Right? yeah. Erlanger. yeah. That, uh, I think used Erlanger used water. to have that, that great big theater there. We used to go to the movie theater. But it yeah, you down. got robbed yeah. there, Daddy. Yeah. Luckily, he only had a few pennies in his pocket. <laughs> but still, it didn't keep him from filing a police report. Right. But... I will tell you this, the taxes are a lot lower in Kentucky. So I actually, I have, we have the DNH sports headquarters located in Northern Kentucky. That's yes, right, in a know. bunker. But you know, again, I apologize, but I have to digress and I have to go back to the first topic that we had, the Brinkstad TV. We didn't get to talk about Courtney is breathing down my neck. She's very upset. I'm pretty sure we but... handled that, man. I don't know what else we have to, we have to cover. Brinks, we talked about well, the, the wino. Oh, you talked about all that. Oh, I was gone for a while. But I would say that on Brinks.TV, they have a lot of great new shows. And Courtney, I was looking at this, and Ray Lewis hasn't had a lot of you know, big guests recently. He had one lined up because the show is about solidarity and a championship mentality. He had actually Vladimir Putin lined up. It didn't work out. He had a hectic, crazy week, but listen now, to now this. Did Ray, Ray have a hectic week or Putin? I, I'm not actually sure. Courtney maybe can fit us okay. in on that. But I will tell you this. Ray Lewis's mom was on the Shield Your Babies from the NFL podcast. Right, Courtney? Oh. Right. She was our premiere episode, Inside the Shield with NFL Moms. Right. Emphasis and on they premiere. Yes. She was on the show and they talked about a lot of interesting things like negotiation tactics to get NFL players to, to kind of settle down and uh, not use violence and, uh, and mandatory talks with the opposing players' moms to understand the kind of compassionate point of view. So that is that. And uh, now I want to talk about, if it's okay, I want to move on to Logan Wilson who oh, had yeah. uh, labrum surgery oh, yeah. i honestly didn't know that that uh, male football players had labrums before the show john filled me in but logan wolfson i guess anik by that he means that he's like wolverine and how fast he heals because this guy look he had john what was it 39 tackles four tackles for a loss and an interception in the playoffs on a completely torn labrum that happened week 13 and then he came back. Like he came back without it being healed. John, He's what got happened? He's a very powerful labrum. 
Yes. C- clearly, he just needed that little pad on his arm that they wrapped around um, his shoulder. Yeah, he played the entire postseason. It was a pretty good memory, even memorizing all those box scores too. But he was he was a dog in the post, a wolf even what you could say that interception yeah. against the Titans. He had a great game in the Super Bowl. He was arguably their best player in the Super Bowl, and it ended unfortunately. But he's going to have surgery, or he already had surgery. He's going to recover in time, and yeah, getting ready for year three. So I, I don't know about Kayla, but in my opinion, Logan Wilson would have been, or he is the Super Bowl MVP. I'm just going to say, Kayla. I say it's fake news to give. I don't remember who won the Super Bowl MVP. It doesn't really matter. Another white guy. It was a fake news <laughs> Super Bowl MVP. But I would say it was Logan Wilson. That pass breakup that he was penalized for is one of the best plays of the game. Kayla. Kayla, how do you feel about... I mean, look, Logan Wilson, he was injured and he was, John, I mean, top five player, okay. defensive player in the playoffs, I think you could say. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he did not look injured to me. I mean, I didn't think he... I mean... Yeah, he was all over the place. Him and Jermaine Pratt, uh, the linebackers, were huge in the playoffs for us as a unit. He, he yeah. looked like he could be giving Joe Mixon a piggyback ride and still being successful. <laughs> I mean, the man is, is a monster. Yeah. He's a beast. He was fantastic. He was fantastic. And uh, also, I think that Joe Burrow is fantastic. Who does we not? I mean, everybody to... loves Joe Burrow. No, 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 no. A lot of people do not. Everybody, everybody knows Joe. I just Kayla. I talked about how Joe Burrow is the goat. Yeah, and he is. I was I was just talking to Kayla about this that Greg Rosenthal of NFL.com, he comes out, and he puts Joe Burrow number six for the whole season. Oh my gosh! So that's including the playoffs. He puts him behind. Get this, Matthew Stafford, and Justin Herbert. Okay, fine. A lot of people they love the rocket arm, but he puts him behind Matthew Stafford. And he does this and after watching said, the whole season or he does it before right, the playoffs? The whole season and the playoffs. And John, he said that Joe Burrows, so we're talking year three for the QB now. He said that Joe Burrows, po- three postseason games were maybe his worst outings of the season, John. The three postseason games, or four postseason games, I think he said, in which we broke the playoff curse, we had the first road win, we won in Kansas City, and we won the Super Bowl. Unless you're going into the you know alternative facts, fake news. Realm. But yeah, do, do you legitimately think that those were his three best games of the year? No, he said they had his worst three or four. I don't know. He said he said he had his worst games if, of the season in the postseason. If those are his worst three, then that kind of tells you how good of a season that he was. And he was top six. What's the issue here, John? We, John the issue okay. is that he's the goat. He's number one, John. Yeah. Have you not been watching <laughs> the show? You're gonna ask an NFL.com writer to put the Super Bowl champion below the guy who he beat. If he has a brain. Oh, well, I, well, I'll tell you this. Yes, maybe the Super Bowl champion who threw, I don't know how many interceptions in the Super Bowl and was bailed out by amazing defensive line against Joe Burrow. And, 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 and may I add, working, let a woman, hold on, hold let on, a woman hold on, hold on, fall on. off the podium and he didn't even help her back on. That's not like yeah. a number five QB to you? He just no, watched John, her fall off. Okay, John, bye, seriously. I'm out of here. It could hold be on, a D-bag. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he is. John, Joe Burrow... Okay, with those couple of explosive plays, kept us in the game. And how know, long? How long does it have to be until we just say that Stafford played a little bit better than Burrow in that game? I mean, obviously the offense happened. The are offense you saying how long is it, John? Are you saying how long is it until I die? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> it's That's a how long that, time. That would also this be nice. This man is know, mostly too. artificial flavors. This he is made up of so many artificial products and synthetic things that he eats. This man is going to live forever. Burrow could have played I better. Think... His offense line was terrible, but he could have played better. Oh, he could have played better, but he was better than the Stafford. If Kayla? you look in a vacuum, what does it matter? His performance was... <laughs> he lost. Get Kayla in still... Hold on. You have... Why do these you guys are still writing about it? Talk. I Kayla? don't know why John doesn't let Kayla talk. Please. I'm sorry. What was the question? <laughs> the the okay. question is why doesn't John no. let Kayla talk? The answer is Kayla. Talking. Yeah. Um, I mean, I agree with John that if those are Burrow's worst games, then we're in pretty good shape. Um, I don't think those were his worst games even this season. But, um, I mean, obviously we all saw the Bears game. That was a whole lifetime ago, it feels like. But that was also this past season. Um, and obviously he's had some incredible games where he's basically put the team on his back like against Kansas City um that first time was 
crazy. It was amazing. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, and, and, I love Joe Burrow, so I obviously yeah. am going to rank him high, but I'm not, you know, with the NFL insiders or whatever. So, And, you know, the thing that no one realizes is that this poor man, this po poor Joe Burrow, he got sacked in the playoffs how many times? 19 times. 19 oh. times. 19 times. What other QB, Matt Stafford included, could get sacked 19 times and win? No quarterbacks no ever gotten sacked nine times a playoff gun. No game one's ever gotten sacked that many Never times in one. No one can get sacked that much. The difference, yeah. oh, that, the, no, that. no, the, the difference yeah. is leading up to yeah. the playoffs, like the Bengals were dominating because Burrow was dominating, and then things started happening. In and the then, playoffs, and they were winning because of their defense. Like, is that not Let true? me tell you, John, let me tell you Let's my theory. Let's talk about defense. Let's talk yeah, about the defense, theory. John, yes. Have John. you ever noticed, have you ever noticed that Tom Brady's defenses seem to get it done when the playoffs come around? 100%. The, the Bengals' defense, it was a big play defense in these playoffs. It was a big play. Why are they taking those risks? Why are they tipping Why, those John? bars? Why are they jumping? Why are they getting those interceptions? Why are they making the time plays? Because they know, hey, maybe... This big play doesn't happen. You give up a big play instead, but Joe Burrow's got our back. We have a quarterback. If we need a score, we need a, we need a game-winning drive. We have that guy, just like Tom Brady. That gives defense the confidence to play aggressively. And with this let, defense, let, let, not let, the stoutest defense, let, 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 having that, hold on. that is what let me, let me, let me, let me juice that defense, John. Let me, let me, let me, let me say. John okay. is saying, hold if, on, because he has to think. When John no, has to that, think, that no, means that, no, that, that I have disturbed the brainwaves but, in his, I have his, to say his something, but here's the question: We had we this team is no stranger to great defenses. Why isn't it the case that pre, that the, the great defenses of the past were able to carry Andy Dalton through anything? I'll tell you why: because no matter how great your defense is, as Dadio says, that defense is not going to take risks. That defense is not going to have the energy. That defense is not going to be able to carry a team through when they know. And, and God bless Andy Dalton, because Andy Dalton was the best Andy Dalton yeah. he could be. But when they know that you just ain't going to cut it. No, I mean, you, you don't well, have to. So with Burrow, you don't have to be worried about a back and forth game. You don't have to try to hold on to a lead for an entire half. Go ahead, John. Right. Oh, or, Kayla, or this Kayla. is the issue with debating with Daddy because the, the argument goes into five different directions and you forget yeah. which tangent that you're actually <laughs> going on. The whole point, I, I, think... I, I digress. Go ahead. <laughs> The whole point of this is that Stop at the end of the day, it. Joe Burrow is still ranked in the top six quarterbacks in just his second year coming off of a okay, catastrophic Jeff. injury. No, let me finish. 70 finish. sacks in this season. Still the six best quarterbacks who just won gas bag Greg Rosenthal. Like, that's that's fine. Like, what, what is the argument okay. here? He's a good quarterback. John, John, the fact that you call them a gas bag totally validates We my spit argument. on Rosenthal. That means... That means <laughs> that... The, I'm the a ranking, gas bag. You're the, you're the gas bags too. Whoa. We're all gas bags here. John, Kayla. Not an okay. insult. Let, let me move on. Let me move on, John. So I saw that this guy, J.T. O'Sullivan, who I thought he was a robber baron, monopoly man type guy, or a financial investor, turns out he actually played quarterback in the NFL. Okay, and he now has a YouTube channel. And guess what? Like us, he has a Patreon. So it's not begging. Professional athletes do it. Our Patreon, Patreon.com/slash/DHSports. His something else. You don't want to go there. No, you don't give to other people, but, give to us. Yeah, but look, he goes out there, he makes like a 17 mid, minute long video where he's reacting to Joe Burrow's plays and he's like, oh, oh, I wish, oh, that was a bad one. Oh, I wish he did that. And the type of plays, let me tell you, one of them was the fourth and one conversion he got after the, I can't remember, Stafford had so many interceptions. I think it was the second interception. I can't remember. So hard to keep track of all the interceptions of this guy who's better than Joe Burrow. There, was, there was two. There was two or five. I don't know. But so this and one. Let's not forget the, the save he didn't make, the woman falling off the podium. Go ahead. Yeah. So listen, John. When in the, after Chidobe, I think, got that early third quarter interception, right? And everybody's like, oh, we're going to go up by two touchdowns. We have the game in the bag. Fourth and one, Joe Burrow converts with his legs. And we get the field goal. Wait, wait, what does that mean? He converts with his legs. You mean he, he runs the ball with his he legs? Runs. Okay. No, he it. runs. He runs. Okay. Now, this guy, JP, whatever, Morgan, he says that, oh, you know, he had Chase on the sideline 
and he could have thrown the, uh, the go route or whatever it was. And he says, that's how they got here. You got to take those chances. It's fourth and one. It's the Super Bowl. It's you have a seven point lead. That's not 100 percent. 100 percent. You get you move the chains and you get within what, like 10 yards of the goal line. And he, that was one criticism. The other ones, John, he's like he said he was very heel clicky on one play. Like he was like he was he said he, he was trying to say he was he was, you know, he was a spooked. He was he was off his game because of the pressure. And there was one play where it was like 20 yards down the field. He's like, why didn't he just throw it? And I was looking at it. It's like Vaughn Miller is right in Joe Burrow's face. Yeah. And here's this guy who had an adjusted yards average of 5.7, you know, 56% completion or something, even though he entered the NFL to, in the 2000s. And, you know, negative touchdown to interception ratio. And he's pretending like every single perfect read made in a split second, Joe Burrow, if he doesn't do that, he deserves criticism. And that's the kind of nonsense I've been seeing and reading about Joe Burrow since the Super Bowl. Hoji, you know the type of person that just goes out of their way to just discredit every single critic of a single entity? You know the kind of person? It yes. sounds very like powerful. A, sounds like a Confident. kind of kind of a fascist, you know. Yes, you get a little <laughs> bit of God. those vibes. Yes, it does. I get those vibes. He wants it to be absolute. He wants all praise the leader. But in this but, case, so do I, because Joe Burrow deserves it. Let me just <laughs> say something. We talked about fascism on the show, Kayla. We are working on it. We had HR in here last week. Yeah. HR is supposed to be on the show every week. Couldn't be on the show. We're talking about uh, Brianne uh, Jansen. Not on the show this week, but next Bridget, week again. Bridget. Something like that. Bridget and yeah. she said, get this. She said, I was like, what? okay, you're not going to be on the show. Why? She says, I have a, a board dinner. And I was like, what's that? And she says, well, dinner, you know what that is, I assume. Do I have to explain? I was like, no, I know what dinner is. And she says, board. And I, said, I know what board. And she said, it's all these investors for DNH sports and all that. Get this. She's describing our investors as boring people, <laughs> and she's HR. And, and oh. I'm just like, no, no, yeah, no, I'm just no, taking no, it back. No, no, no. It's crazy. <laughs> board, so that like is what happened. Board of investors. They, yeah. They're, she's board of the investors. And listen to this. Also, I don't know if you know, but we have a, a sponsors on the show. And we have to talk about the sponsors. Not for long. So, yeah. Yes. If you, if you want to access this show in any, from any country, in any language, and you want to, you know, you want to, let's say, hack into our show and, and you know, take over our YouTube account, anything, you can use NordVPN. You go to nordvpn.com slash believe, B-L-E-A-V. You get the 70% discount and one month free and one month money back guarantee. That means you're only paying for one month, if I did the math correctly. And, it doesn't, uh, but that's yes. okay. It's, it's more secure, you know. Let's say you want to share, you know, secret analysis of gas bags or or you want to share you know where you hid your gas bags john i don't know where you keep your gas bags anything like that you have more security and uh, and we yeah. have another sponsor yeah and we have another sponsor and that's other sponsors athletic greens i i take athletic greens before every show that's why i'm so pumped up that's why i have so much energy and so much happy mojo i've been rubbing it on my head hoping that i can grow hair it doesn't work like that instead you're supposed to take these absorbing 75 high quality vitamin minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to start your day right. And I tell you what, this stuff is made in New Zealand where things are done right. There's no big you know, farms with all these cows and stuff like that. Everything is in New Gas Zealand bags. naturally, naturally. It's a natural supporting your gut health, your nervous system. Yeah, and it's anti-aging. I have gotten three years younger. My doctor told me that ever since I started using athletic greens. It's lifestyle friendly cat friendly dog friendly don't feed it to them it will kill them but <laughs> but it's friendly because you will have the energy to play with them okay there's only one gram of sugar and no chemicals or artificial anything in it reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition it's just one scoop in a cup of water every day that's it <laughs> <laughs> to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash believe. Believe is not spelled the way you would hope. It's spelled B-L-E-A-V. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash believe. Well, let me tell you something. how you hope it's spelled. It's just not how you think it's spelled. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure. Oh, 
or prevent any disease. At any Look, means. <laughs> I will tell you this. I am so convinced by Hoji's thing. I want to try them out. I, by the way, I love vitamins. Hoji thinks I'm not healthy. I have a bag of vitamins a day. I love the fizzy ones. I love the, the, the ones that are shaped like worms. I love vitamins. I have. Okay, just because it's gummy yeah, doesn't make those it are a gummy vitamin. worms. Yeah. Well, yeah. He thinks everything gummy is a, a vitamin. Just it's because only sugar. Are gummy <laughs> vitamins. No, no, no. I've seen vitamins. They give them to kids. They give them all those vitamins. I love vitamins. Okay, Kayla, I want to now move on to John's segments because you know we need to add people in the free agency. We need to add to the offensive line. You have ideas. John has ideas. I want you to to talk about it and figure it out for the Bengals. John. Figure it out for us. Go. You're on. Well, no pressure. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure I really have a choice. I have to talk about this guy, Ryan Jensen, I guess. Um, center out of Tampa Bay, 30 years old. He's been with the Ravens before. I think our own Adam Pacman Jones, an exclusive Believe report, said that the Bengals are interested in signing him, even so much as they've even offered him a deal, which is illegal, two weeks before free agency even begins. But beyond that, he's expected to get like one more decent contract, and the Bengals are a good fit if they were to either move on from Trey Hopkins or move Trey Hopkins to a guard position, put uh, Ryan Jensen in at center. I think he's a much better run blocker compared to Hopkins. I think he can do anything you need him to do schematically. He's battle-tested. He's proven. I think PFF doesn't really grade him accurately, as you would think. I, his, pass protect, his pass protection efficiency and production is fine even though the grades don't always reflect that but he's been blocking for tom brady for two years and he's done magnificent at that he's been a, an asset wherever he's been and now he's up for a new deal tampa bay may not resign him if the Bengals want a true upgraded center ryan jensen is probably their best bet i love it i love it john and then what Thank about you. kayla then kayla what do you say? Do we sign him? Do we not sign him? How, how do we, we fix give? the offensive line? Fix it for us, Kayla. I love you have Ryan 20, Jensen. Hold on. You have 21 seconds. Why, 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 why? I think he would be so, I think he would be such a good fit. And I, I think that Trey Hopkins has played guard before for us. And um, obviously, I mean, I like the idea of having Corey Lindsay last year. So this is, I think it's a great thing and it shores up the interior and makes the guards play better around him. And I love it. It protects our beautiful Joe Burrow. The it does. Goal. Yeah. The golden goose. Just like I'm protecting The goose him. that lays the golden egg every game. We're all protecting him on Twitter right now. I am I protecting protect him. him from... I protect him with my mojo. I do a special spiritual revival for him every night. I do a special dance around the yeah. candle. Yeah. I love that. I protect that. him from all sorts of slander on Twitter. I've been reporting every tweet that ne says negative stuff about him. Even yeah, those that mention, Karen. yeah. Even those that mention the number of interceptions he had, that's not acceptable. No, you, you don't talk about that other stuff. You silence, you so, silence um, dissent, right, Tadio? Yes, <laughs> yes. Now, Kayla, I don't know if you know, but we have a professor on the show, and he he talks about everything from like you heard, cat diets, to astrology, yeah. to really. Uh, he was a QB coach too, and he talks yeah. about the the kind Online. of yes, the the kind of uh, the tactics he High used school. to, right. So here he is with his hojoscope. Well, thank you, Dadio, and uh, I'd like for all of you to stick around for this. This is probably one of my most important hojoscopes I'm going to give, and and Dadio, you especially, because today I want to talk about Uranus. You know, the time has come where we're going to have to choose whether we're <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, where we're going to be inside of Uranus or rise above Uranus. Now, Uranus is in Taurus, Kayla and Dadio. I don't know if you know this, which is a time of turbulence. Uh, the, Neptune only goes into Pisces. It's literally in water only once every 165 years. Last time was 1862. That was the Civil War. And what you're seeing with these movements of Dadio, Uranus, and <laughs> Neptune in Pisces, what you're seeing is a very strange time. And this is what's going on in Ukraine. Why do you think that's happening? People are trying to hold on to their old ways in a time of change, because that's what happens every once every 165 years. Now, you're going to see 
uh, solar storms. I don't know if you guys are listening, but it's important. You're going to see solar, solar storms, and you're going to see a potential drop in magnetic shields and an evolution of consciousness. This, this is really important. This is what's happening. This is the stats. I'm reading the stats. And we, this this 12,000 year recession cycle will set up an electromagnetic field, pushing us into this higher state of consciousness. Now, what does this mean? Uh, you have to trust your frequency as Jupiter and Neptune go into conjunction. And I, ultimately what that means is this fundamental shift is gonna happen in the NFL itself. All teams, okay, that weren't known to be good are gonna be good. And they're all gonna begin with B, talking about the Bengals, the Bears, I'm talking about, we already saw the rise in the Bucks, but the Bucks were always good. Broncos. The, the Broncos are going to be okay. What about the Browns? But it's also going to be the Browns and the Bills. And people yeah. aren't used to that. People are used to holding on to the past. And they want to hold on to that. But, but that, Uranus isn't going to let them do that. So that is my horoscope. Wow. Well, I believe that it was, was pronounced that's Uranus. Just... Yes. Oh, is it? Yes, okay. but I digress. Okay, look. Noted. Let us Duly move noted. on. Kayla. <laughs> Kayla. This show, as you know, has a big staff. Very, very uh, kind of extensive staff of unpaid interns. So we, we have a lot of funds, a lot of snacks. Lot Some of people fun. might say, switch up. <laughs> so, yes. Well, I don't know. It's, it's finally heating up. I was a little disappointed. That, I, that you guys were just kind of sitting there very, very cold, no sweat. It doesn't feel like you're working if you don't sweat, but right. that's going to change very soon. So, Courtney, people can go to our show, patreon.com slash Sports. They can support us. They can go to vino.app slash Sports and get a direct line to me, Hoji, and John. Yeah. And we, we tell them all sorts of secrets and, and uh, we give them some treasure maps and all sorts of, it's a lot of value if you do yeah. that. But really, we are, we are here for the kids. And what I mean is we're here are to, we? well, yeah, we're here to basically recruit your kids to come on the show. Oh, my gosh. So I want to, yeah, we need a lot more employees. So anybody out there who's interested, I will include a link for you to sign up as an intern on the show. We need some help with video editing and social media posts and that kind of a stuff that kids love. They love, they have so much energy for that stuff. And the beauty of the show is you do not need talent to do any, <laughs> to be involved in the show at all. No, no, you don't. You just, you just need a microphone. Everybody you has You just one. need a microphone and a willingness to work for free or less. Yeah, and so look, this show will be broadcast on Brinks.tv. It will yeah. be a podcast, the number one Bengals podcast, which you can find on a snitcher and a scratchify and all that number stuff. one in then, name alone yes and then also it's going to be on the youtube channel d and h sports we're also on the believe youtube channel with it which is with adam pacman jones and a lot of people have been clicking on our videos by accident if that is what you have done and you have made it this far you can also go to our youtube channel d and h sports yeah okay I'd be surprised Four. if they made it this far. And I would love for you to put in the YouTube comments what you think about the O-line conversation we had today. What are your hopes and your aspirations for this team? Because the O-line is where it's at. Yes. And let me ask you something else. So I want to basically, I want to have a discussion about Joe Burrow and uh, what some people are saying he needs to improve on in year three. And so I talked to Ken Anderson today, the Hall of Fame quarterback. And he said, he said, you know, we try to set it up for next week. So if you have questions for the great Mr. Ken Anderson, oh yeah, put them in the comments, questions oh. about Joe Burrow or anything yeah. else, and we will ask him on the show. It's going to be a fun show, second appearance for Ken Anderson. And so just do He's that. man's listen, man. Make sure you go he to- He is the aftershave of QBs. Absolutely. Make sure you go to Tigress Talk and you subscribe. And is there a podcast or is it just a YouTube for now? Um, we have just the YouTube for now, but follow us on Twitter as well, because I, I think we're going to be doing some stuff this off season as well. So. Okay. And how do they send you money? Um, don't they don't. They do. Not okay. everyone does everything for money, Daddy. Or not. Well, listen, does I'm going to make it easy on you. They just you can send it to patreoncom slash sports. and if they want the money, we send. It. If they don't want the money, we'll we'll find a charitable cause. You're never going to see the money. As well. yeah, <laughs> Works so, for me. There you go. Kayla, thank you so much for being on the show. 
and for John, Paul Inka, Sheeran, Dr. Hoji, Dr. Gismoji, and Daddy Paul Duke. We will see Bridget, you next please time. come back. <laughs> we will see you next time. Oh, don't forget to uh, check out John's articles at cincyjungle.com and Kayla on Twitter. What is your handle again? At KSwelbs. KSwelbs. And uh, that's all we have. We'll see you next time. So long, sweetie. Thanks for having me Thanks. on. Thank you for joining us.